client retention. This is very, very important, and it's one of the keys to the insurance business because obviously it's easier to keep your clients and to service your clients than to get new clients, especially if you're a new agent starting out. So I'm going to touch on four things that can help you retain your book of business. Number one is going to be automation. Number two is going to be different newsletter email campaigns. And the third is policy reviews, which is a big one. And the fourth would be admin help, you know, getting help when your book of business gets to a certain point. As far as the automation goes, I'll just show you guys real quick kind of what we do. So we use our CRM to send out both thank you cards post-sale, uh, birthday cards, and then also emails and texts. So this is kind of what our thank you card looks like, and we integrate thanks.io with our CRM. So this is a side one of the thank you card, and then you know side two with our company logo. So this just goes out a couple days after the sale. So they'll get it in the mail, maybe three to five business days post sale. And that's triggered automatically through our CRM. The other thing that they'll get out is, they'll get is a birthday card, right? So on their birthday, uh, this will go out uh, a few days before their birthday. So it'll uh, arrive right around their birthday. So this is the first side and then side two. And then also they're gonna get an email and a text on their birthday as well. And that too is automatic through the CRM. So really all that requires is dispositioning, number one, and putting in their birthday in the system. Now we also have a email, like newsletter emails that we send out uh, that goes out automatically every couple months, I believe. And then the third, policy reviews. So this is big. I mean, especially if you're in the under 65 or Medicare market, you want to make sure that you're you know, maintaining your, your book, right? So you're doing annual reviews with people and you're gonna find opportunities for other products, right? They may bring up something to you such as life insurance or, you know, if they're an ACA client, you, you might notice that they're turning 65 in the coming year and you can plant the seed for that Medicare discussion. And then admin help, which is a big one, admin help. You know, once your book is to a certain size, you're gonna need help maintaining it. So. You know, it's easier to pay somebody to do that. If your time is better spent acquiring new clients, you know, you can pay somebody $10, $15, $20 an hour, whatever it takes, you know, to make sure your, your current clients are, are happy. And especially if you don't enjoy doing that type of work as well. You know, if you don't have an assistant, you are the assistant. So you guys know the deal. If you found this helpful, you can uh, click the subscribe button, the like button. Uh, tune in as we have more videos coming out. Thanks for checking us out.